Graham, best of starts here at Roots Hall, but uh, unfortunately, uh, just a point in the end. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, disappointing to, you know, after the first 45 minutes, we were well in control, created numerous opportunities, could have been two or three up, and, um, you know, and then I oh, thought uh, we just had to go on and replicate that, but to replicate the performance, we had to have the same energy levels and that, and obviously, the, I thought the, the, the two games in, in three days hit us hard after about probably an hour. And um, you know, I think you could tell that from the, the performance, you know. But to be fair to them, they never stopped running and, and giving everything they got. But just the the lack of 100% energy pr uh, proved costly, and our lack of quality in the last 30 minutes to, to keep control of the game. Certainly, that that quality, that energy was there to see a, a very good first half from Fleetwood, and it could have been two. And that missed penalty uh, proved costly in the end. Yeah, it was a, it was a great save from the keeper. You know where. Uh, you know, the fair play to Gaz, he stepped up, wanted to take it, so um, we had every confidence. But, you know, keepers there to make saves, he's a big lad, is Smith, and um, it, was, it was a great save by him. But, like you say, that was one of probably two or three opportunities where we could have scored and, and extended our lead. And uh, I didn't think we were in any threat of, of conceding either. I thought the, the, the defenders, um, our boy Scott, Ian Goal, were fantastic today. And um, I just I can solely put it down to the, the energy levels dropping after about an hour and it's fully understandable because to, to play this fixture less than 48 hours after playing top of the league is just um, it's ridiculous really to be, to be honest. And um, But we, we wanted to attack it in a positive way. I've not moaned about it but you know, looking here now, I think that's two points down because of the, the fixture. That's it. it was, uh, it's a very quick turnaround in the fixtures, as you say. It was a long journey, mm -hmm. and it was that last 20, 25 minutes yeah. when town sort of went off the boil. Jimmy and Matt needed to come off. Yeah, you know, he, he'd give everything he got, and allied to so 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 did the other lads like you know, but you know, uh, Jamal's been great in the last three games, and he, he he's played that role up front. Of, you know, and um, you know it did it. We, we were looking at him for about five minutes, thinking, "Shout, he's gone," and he, he had he, he was running on empty. So, you know, up until that point, he was a massive threat, and uh, had South End on the back foot, and I thought he was fantastic. But he just ran out, of, ran out of steam, unfortunately, and um, it's understandable because I think you look around, and most of the lads uh, were feeling it who had played Saturday, and um, it's disappointment, point, pointing because. You know, I thought we bossed the game when we had the energy levels up and, like I said, could have been two or three up. Could have been uh, another goal right at the end there from, yeah. from Barry Nicholson, apart from a very good save. Yeah, it was a great move, a uh, great move. I think Jamie slipped him in and we asked like, Baz and Jamie to get in the box as many times as they can and uh, really fancied Baz, but it was, an, it was another great save, to be fair. You know, he's hit the target, he's, he's tested the keeper, but um, I th it would have probably been against the run of play in the last 25 minutes or so, 25, 30 minutes, but um, you know, I thought over the 90 minutes we'd have deserved another goal without a shout. And all round, over the 90 minutes, uh, good attitude from the players. Yeah, great attitude. I, I just told them I'm, I'm proud of what they showed today because it would have been easy to you know, feel sorry for themselves after the, the long journey and the... Yeah, I'm sure inside they were they were burning up, but um, they carried on running and putting their bodies in front of the line. Just unfortunate we conceded a, a goal, you know, five minutes from the end. Um, you know, a goal that we we can defend better at. You know, uh, but uh, you know there there are circumstances for it. You know, but uh, you know I'm not going to make excuses for that because you know we we have to take responsibility for for our own performance in that. But in today's modern day, modern day the, the, the tempo of the game and to play two games in, in less than 48 hours is, is just not on and um, you know, that, that won't happen next year. Others who have had a quick turnaround and a long journey, Cod Army, mm. good voice behind that goal. Yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah, it, was, it was great you know, great to see because we know the, the commitment they show, you know, travelling all over the place and um, you know, it's all the glamorise that we that we play, and uh, but it's fantastic. It's great to see, and uh, you know, we really appreciate all the, all the support they they give us, um, and I think they can see that the the effort from the lads today was was there for everyone to see, and it was just unfortunate we we couldn't get the three points for them, but you know, they can rest assured that the last four games we'll be going all out to get 12 points, and, and that's the target for us now. Okay, Graham, thank you very much. Okay, cheers.